Uh, hello everyone. This is a Slay the Spire here in 2023. Uh, it's a new thing that, well, not new, but I haven't played it. Apparently, I played an early, early version of it, but it's called Downfall, and it is a pretty decently sized mod. Full featured expansion with a fifth hero, new campaign, uh, new relics, cards, potions, all that stuff. I've been playing this game a bunch lately because um, the Switch version is just wonderful, and I've been working on the Ascensions with various characters. Today, I have a headache. It's been pretty bad, and I wasn't even going to record anything, but I got bored, so I said, you know what would be great? Slay the Spire. It's familiar, but with this mod it won't be. And... Defend the heart from adventuring intruders. I have to check that out at some point. But, uh, let's take a look. So we got the Hermit. And... we shall play as the Hermit. Cowboy. Gunslinger. Alright, uh, we'll go this way. I mean, could go for this. Uh, oh, I'm not planning on explaining this. But I'm gonna have to learn how to do some of this stuff. Gain block equal to unblock damage dealt. So here's the the deal with this character. From what uh, from what I understand, if this is in the middle, it does more damage, or it does a special effect. So um, this character, when the card is in the middle. It changes the effect of the card. Discard a card, draw a card. Discard curses. Discarded curses are exhausted. Oh, interesting. Well, we're gonna shoot. And we're gonna defend. This counts as dead on. Because uh, even though it wasn't directly in the middle, that amount of cards, it still counted. So that's cool. Uh, probably should have done the memento. I'm gonna defend this. Mm. There we go. Earn, earn. Deal damage equal to your hand size. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so there's some really unique card things happening here. So I'm going to take that curse, of course. Cuz so I can get rid of that at the store. If that was in the middle, it would have done more damage. But it's free. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's, let's apply Memento. Oh, it's no longer- right! Oh, boy. Do you see? Do you see? I see. Of course you see. If you're not sleeping to this, then you too have played your share of Slay the Spire. So you know what's up. I almost played the Switch version tonight, and just worked on the Ascension levels, but I, I decided against it. See if we can... oh no. Alright, well, snapshot. Damn. Damn. God. No. Fuck. Shit. Speed potion. Apply one weak, one vulnerable. Gain 12 block, two weak. Wait, huh? You, you weaken yourself? Whenever a debuff is applied to you, gain one strength. It's very situational, but I'll give it a shot. There we go. Get rid of doubt. Gain gold, lose health. Also, this is where Tasha Yar died. 
Let's see. Innate. Yeah, well, well, no, we don't need that. Oh boy, I don't even know what to upgrade. Snapshot, I guess? Not really a ton of great choices so far. Deal 13 damage to all enemies. Stun any that don't intend to attack. Exhaust. Interesting. At the start of boss combats, heal 25 HP or upgrade two random attacks. I like the boss combat one. We'll get rid of a regular old card. I don't think these motherfuckers actually do any debuffs. It's kind of cool to have, like, a brand new character and expansion. I wonder if there's a way to reorganize the cards in your hand. Maybe, maybe another card later? Oh, there we go. That's a debuff. They do apply debuffs. That's good for boss battle. Oh boy. We don't want decay. Huh. Deal 18 damage to a random enemy, discard your hand, draw that many cards. I'll try roulette. Boy, I don't even know how to use this character. I don't even know what synergies there are, really. Heal HP whenever you enter a shop. Well, that was convenient. Don't need anything in there. I guess for people that are new to the channel that haven't really watched me play Slay the Spire, really the most I can say is Slay the Spire is one of my favorite games, probably of all time at this point. No, I should have used that vulnerable. That would have been nice. Oops. Alright, I'll hold on to it. Now I'll use it. You can do stuff like this to, uh, force the cards to move. That is cool. Vexing draft. Dra uh, I want to read drought. I always want to read drought, but it's draft. Gain two strength, two dexterity. Add two burn plus cards into your discard pile. Oof. Gambit. Play, uh, put two random attacks from your discard pile into your hand. They cost one less. That's great. Take it. Again, I'm not considering synergies. Put three random attacks from your discard pile into your hand. Oh, perfect. Got a yellow card. And it's upgraded now. I want to upgrade. Yeah, we'll upgrade. Upgrade Roulette, since that's a pretty high uh, damage card. Watch this. Ah, oh, it was random. Fuck. Said that, didn't it? Huh? Oh, I didn't have a discard pile. <laughs> Oops. Grudge. 
Deal nine damage to all enemies. Deal two more for all of your curse cards. Or you gotta have a lot of curses with this character. Discard a card, gain five block. If it was not attack card, gain five block again. We'll take the body armor. Could use it. I'm gonna upgrade that just so... Just so I can live. Another roulette. Uh, I need to use this potion. Lucky for the potion. Oh, look at that. Snapshot right in the middle. And I'm gonna do the gambit, and I get some fucking free attacks and shit. Wow. Pretty good synergy so far. Not bad for my first time. That body armor card is really good. Okay. Yep. Doing some shooting and cursing. Yep. Take some damage, but it's okay. It's the end of the battle. <clears throat> Wait, deal damage equal to your hand size? Wait, like the whole hand? No, that should be, um... Why 11? Wait, hand is in what I have or is that my deck? I'm a little confused, it's fine. How do I get so much- oh, the strength! How do I get so much strength? Gain three energy, draw three cards. Whenever you end your turn with zero energy, lose four HP. Ha. <laughs> this card, five, uh, six cards for each card. Deal five damage. At the start of your turn, draw two cards and add an injury to your hand. I'm gonna go for the Magnum. While your HP is at or below 50%, gain energy and draw one card at the start of your turn. Runic Pyramid. Because that will have an amazing synergy with that card I just picked up. That's a pretty- that was a pretty decent... perk, too. The one that just... gave me more power. I need more power, Jamie. See, that magnum is just gonna, it's gonna sit there, and then I can do this. Oh, I would have used the memento first. All right, we'll get rid of it then for now. If I upgrade that card, it's gonna be amazing. 
Oh, um... What debuffs was I even getting last time? I don't even know. Whenever you trigger a dead-on effect, your next attack deals three more damage. Deal ten damage, double this card's damage, this combat, it costs one more. Hmm. Desperado. Why don't you come to your say? I want to try Desperado. I'm going to get the special relic. It upgrades a card randomly at the beginning of each turn. Damn birds, I always forget. They have, like, bird armor. No! Oh, the French. Gotta get rid of those curse cards. That's gonna be an interesting thing to consider. Birds get um, knocked off the, their flying bullshit when you hit them multiple times. That became a really good attack. Just magnum that shit. Just one, two, three, four, five, six. Magnum. Magnum power. Strikes deal three more damage this combat. Gain one dexterity. This costs one more this combat. Interesting. Gain eight block. Yeah, I could use some extra block. Obtain a relic. Elites have 25% less. So I gotta get my way to a shop soon. It will exhaust that. Decent enough attacks. My health is a little low, so I'm gonna do a regeneration. Usually you want to go for the Mystic first. Oh, that's such horse shit. We're fine.
Damn. Should have did a better shield than that. Okay. Add zero cost defend to your hand and upgrade it X times exhaust. I, just because it's such a weird card, I want to take it. Seven damage for each card. Yeah, Magnum. Magnum dong time. Okay, I want to upgrade here. Calculated risk. Hmm. Didn't really want to have to use my potions there, but it was was worth it, I think. Fucking pain card. I gotta get rid of that soon. I didn't even realize how much damage I was taking from the pain card. Like, almost alone. So I guess that defend card is just in my deck now. I could use it whenever. I meant to do this. Ah, uh, go back. Go back. Hang on. Damn it. Oh, there's no way to go back. Alright, never mind. It's fine. Dead anyway. Your first attack each combat deals 8 additional damage. Ancient Potion. Deal 13 damage to a random enemy. Shuffle a clumsy into your draw pile. Gain 8 block dead on. Upgrade 2 random cards in your hand. Try that one. Even though I shouldn't be taking as many cards as I am. Start each combat with 3 strength. At the end of your first turn, lose 3 strength. I like that. Especially compared, uh, combined with... The, uh, the thing. There's a thing, you know. Gotta get rid of the pain card. That's just awful. I'd love to get rid of that other one too, but... The effects of your cost X cards are increased by two. That's also really good for that one card that creates a massive block. Big block deck. Defend plus six right here. Some body armor. Could be worse, could be better. Gotta magnum this one up, I think. I, that's exactly what I needed to happen right there. All right, uh, almost dead. Oh, 
There you go. Every three turns, gain an energy. Another ancient potion. Draw three curses. Fuck off. Deal eight damage, apply two vulnerable. Deal five damage to a random enemy three times. I'm gonna get the wide open one. So yeah, this, this deck is highly curse-oriented. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by six. I wonder if that works with like temporary curses. Hmm. I wanted to really use that first turn advantage, but I kind of couldn't. Defend, and Roulette. I'll do a little blasting. bad. I wanted to get the snapshot. I didn't need to use that big block. That was kind of a mistake. Oh, that just adds a vulnerable to me, too. It took me that long to realize. Oh, no! That sucks. That sucks. Wow. Strikes deal three more damage this combat, gain one dexterity. Yeah, I don't I don't know how I feel about that, but ricochet we could try. This very well could be death. very well. Could be death. Um... Decent amount of damage there. That would have been a good attack to use earlier. Will I live? I will live. But, uh, it's getting real scummy right about now. Magnum. Magnum will probably... I think it'll kill. If it doesn't, then I'll just uh, try to retain a couple attacks. Specifically Roulette. 
And once again, I could have used Memento. Yeah, it's fine. All right, now I just have to try to try to live. I'll get hole up. I think I gained some health here. Yeah, I gained some health for the boss. Okay, that's good. There we go. Magnum it up. Good opening salvo right there. Okay, strength on debuff. Goodbye, curse. Fuck off. I have to just block. Nice debuffs. Discard one card, draw two cards. be a good time for artifact. Okay, so we've got... Oh, boy. Definitely body armor. Um... Fend plus, I mean... I think this motherfucker needs to die. Okay, that'll buy me some time at least. Oh boy. And that'll buy me some time as well. Okay, Desperado. Do another Magnum. That's pretty good. There's a chance. chance. There we go. 
Repeat on a random enemy for each dead on effect this turn. I don't have any more dead on effects, but just some free damage. Hmm. Could upgrade some cards. Or I can do a Desperado and win. Holy fuck, I won! Amazing. Deal 30 damage, dead on, gain 24 block. Or I can get another Magnum. Just be shooting cards like fucking loads. Wish I didn't say that. <laughs> really wish I didn't say that. This is a tough decision to make. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna go for Rough House Plus. At the start of your turn, reduce the cost of the most expensive card in your hand by one for this turn. Fine by me. It's a, it's a new one, so I want to check out as much new stuff as possible, and that just sounds cool. to take that much damage this early. Do I take the damage from this? Fr you know what? I'm not risking it. Because if you attack this dude, you take damage. So I think I would have taken the damage first. I should have saved that block. Go. Skip. Pretty good, and also very cheap to do that card. I just found out that fucking Vampire Slayer game, which was an old Half-Life mod that I used to enjoy. Um, it just released on the Switch and not the PC first? Kind of weird. That card's really good. I'm glad I chose it. Oh man, another Determination card. So that's just going to be more strength. Um... 
Okay. Good Magnum. Wow, I can't believe that was enough to kill. Reduce targets, take more attack damage, wears off on turn end. Oh, that's a new thing. A more damage to a target sounds great. Oh, man. I hate this card, but it was worth the healing. We'll add one colorless card to the deck. Deal 12 damage to all enemies exhaust. That's that's beautiful with my um, combination of starting damage. Watch this. Just free. It's just there. It's just free. It's wonderful. I think we can kill the head. I just keep strengthening this fucking thing. Oh, thank God. That was so close. That could have gone way worse. Ethereal. Play for uh, first four playable cards drawn at the start of each turn cost one less than that turn. Oh. Great. Yeah. I'll remove the ethereal. Um, yeah. At the end of your turn, deal two damage to all enemies for each dead on effect triggered. Or whenever you play a power attack and skill in the same turn, remove all of your debuffs. Or remove a curse, which, you know. I think it's for the best I get rid of that curse. Start each t combat with two metallicized. I'll get the key. Try to build that, that fucking key. It's my first time with this character. I probably shouldn't have even bothered with the key, but... Wow. It's a hell of a first turn. Actually, I definitely could have, but oh well.
One left. Dead. Retain by one weak and vulnerable. Apply three bruise to all enemies and bruise does not wear off this turn. We'll try that. Another shop. I don't think I want that curse. Not for this build. I just had a brain fart. Brain fuck? Um... I guess that's fine. Why am I taking that extra damage there? I don't like that extra damage. Like how much damage I've taken. Um, I have to figure out if I'm gonna go to the uh, end or I'm gonna just try to defeat the regular boss, the first boss. Three damage, and three damage. Eh. I guess it was worth it. Just need to be able to block all of these attacks. There you go. Cheat trigger plus reduce the cost of a random card in your hand by two this turn. Boot. And do I recall the key? I'm gonna take the chance. I'm gonna do something stupid. Because I do get a little bit of healing here at the very least.
All right. Yeah, I'm going to go for the eternal form. And then just heal with some dexterity. Yeah, that that losing um, some of the cost of these cards is just great, just too good. Go and defend. God damn. get a magnum a free magnum but I, I need some um, healing or uh, defense rather I wouldn't mind getting that dead on can I do it I can, I can do it if I do that, that leads to a block. Hmm. Block that. Peep the horror. Strike. Roulette and hopefully get something that can. There we go. All right, not bad, not bad. another phase entirely. Oh boy, look at that damage. Hmm. Should have, uh, that's the wrong order. I screwed up the order there. Block there. All right. Need some defense. No. God damn it. God damn it. If I healed, I would have been just fine. Ugh.
Well, unlock some new cards. Got right to the damn end. All right. Well, my head is not feeling any better. So, I think I'm going to stop here. I know it's not the most exciting video for a lot of people. But I hope you enjoyed. Definitely going to be coming back to this at some point. And checking out um, the rest of the character's stuff and the other game mode as well. Actually, I could probably just want to take a quick look at what this even is. The slime boss. Oh my god. Huh. Oh man, this is- there's just so much to this. I wish I could get this on the Switch, or I wish they would like just incorporate this as an official mod. Goop. The next attack against this enemy deals six more damage, consuming all goop. Mental. So, I mean, it's a bunch of new characters. I think these are mod characters. I, I might have even played as this character at some point, the slime, in another mod. But it's just reverse Slay the Spire. Oh, souls is like gold. Yeah, I see. I'll try one run of this. Fuck it. Why not? There you go. Rain of goop. Apply three goop to a random enemy four times. Isn't that Gwyneth Paltrow's, um, cool company? Wait, why am I attacking the merchant? What the fuck? I'm I, like, I'm going super, super quick because I just want to see what this is all about, but... You just threw money at me. <laughs> huh. I wonder if this is an ongoing battle. Oh, this just- this counts as a merchant. Okay. This is amazing. Need a more block than that. Yeah, get that goop on there.
Absorb all slimes, split into a random specialist for each. Huh. I mean, I'll take it because it's a gold card, but yeah. Apply four goop two times exhaust. Oh, this is fucking weird. Deals four damage, applies one vulnerable, four damage in one week. So it's different than the defect, because this stuff, like, happens at the beginning of your next turn. Increases damage of all of your spawn slimes. Okay. It's, it's a lot, but I, I think I'm kind of understanding it. Nice card art, too. Oh my god, too much strength. Oh god, what have I done? Oh no. Oh no! I am screwed. No. Oh no. That was not the right answer. A nap sounds good. New character. Yeah, you just get to play as bosses. It's pretty, pretty fucking awesome. Defend the heart from adventuring intruders who intend to slay the spire, yes. Alright, now for real I'll get going, but, um, pretty great, just all around really impressive mod. It feels like a fleshed out real expansion. But anyway, uh, thank you. Sorry this isn't a particularly long video, I'm just, you know, I'm ready to sleep. Goodbye. Got the music too. Fuck. Alright, goodbye for real.